Apple may be hosting its September event to announce new smartphones and Apple Watches, but the iPhone maker has a lot more in store for us later this year. Here is what you can expect at an Apple October event. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. And Apple will be holding an event on September 7th. We're gonna get new things like the iPhone 14, the Apple Watch Series 8, maybe an Apple Watch Pro, maybe some other surprises in there, but there are some things that we feel confident we won't see, but Apple will release not long after, starting in October. Here's exactly what you can expect. Starting out with tablets, Apple is poised to release a new version of the iPad Pros. The new 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pros look like they're gonna keep the same design as the current generation models. So we're gonna see basically the same thing we have here on the outside, which could be good because it will hopefully still work with the existing magic keyboards and smart keyboards that are already on the market. It means it'll even work with third party options such as the bridge keyboard. So a lot of good things about the new iPad Pros since they did fairly recently get a redesign. But the biggest difference with the new iPad Pros is likely going to be that M2 processor on the inside. Other rumors say we could see things like magnetic charging, kinda like MagSafe, but based on these CADs, it doesn't look like it made it into these shipping versions. Then Apple looks like they're going to be releasing a new version of the iPad, the entry level iPad that is, but instead of looking kinda dated, like the current ninth generation iPad, this new iPad 10 will ditch this tired design to look more like the existing iPad Airs. The new 10th generation entry level iPad will have flat squared off sides and move over to USB-C. Inside of the new entry level iPad will be Apple's A14 Bionic processor. That's what I feel certain that we'll see before the end of the year. New iPad Pros, new entry level 10th generation iPad. But then things get a little murkier. There are still several Macs that haven't been updated in some time, like the Mac Mini and of course the Mac Pro. Could we see the redesigned Apple Silicon Mac Pro at this event? Maybe. That's a little bit less likely to happen as Apple's portable lineup. The MacBook Pro, both the 14 and 16 inch, are poised for a refresh with the M2 processor on the inside. We should be getting M2 Pro and M2 Max processors inside of the updated 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, though some analysts, including Ming-Chi Kuo, speculate that these machines won't be released until January at the earliest of 2023. The last thing I wanted to mention are AirPods Pro. Personally, I think it's pretty likely that we will get AirPods Pro at the September event. If you're watching this after Apple September event, then you already know the answer to this. But I think it's a good possibility. If we do not get AirPods Pro at Apple's iPhone and Apple Watch event, AirPods Pro should arrive in Apple's October event. The original AirPods were released inside of October of 2019 uh, on October 30th. So it makes sense that Apple could stick with that same time frame when releasing the AirPods Pro 2 here in 2022, nearly three years later. Still, I think they align more with the portability of iPhone and Apple Watch. It makes more sense there, but there are a lot of shipping delays coming out of China right now. So Apple could have to bump them to the October iPad centric event. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and stay tuned. I have a lot more videos and full coverage of Apple's announcements coming up.